What's up everybody and welcome back to part four and I'm going to call this one the final frontier of my experience with Copart using a broker. My name is Anthony and I live in Long Island, New York and I had to use a broker uh, to get the car uh, that I uh, just recently purchased. Um, I'm using my cell phone today so I could uh, show you the, uh, the actual car that I bought. This was my first time using Copart with the broker. First car I ever bought from an online auction. I've, in all my other videos, I've shared each step and what has happened to me. So today I'm just going to show you a video of the car and I'm going to do a fast recap. Today I actually received the title in the mail with my name on it, so now I am free and clear to sell the car. But before I do that, I'm going to show you this, this car and do a quick recap, and I'll see you on the next one. Hold on one second. Got to find that pause button. So this is the car that I bought through Copart. It's a 2003 Chevy Impala. I still have the auction numbers on it. This car has 63,000 miles, has four brand new tires. I'm gonna squeeze out the plate. And uh, it's pretty decent on the inside. And I'll get back into there for a second. It has four brand new Michelin tires. Um, what I've done to this vehicle so far is I'll show you hold on I still have to vacuum this car out but this was the whole culprit of the car being in Copart was the vibration damper separated and I bought all of this part was 45 bucks and um, I fixed the car and I'll take you a little inside now we are inside the car and the appearance, as you can see, it's it's a, a decent car for a 2003. It had four brand new Michelin tires. And what also I looked at was the, the repair that it actually needed. I knew I could do the work. But this is what really turned me on to this car. i put the key in the ignition. Started right up. And that's why this car has 63,000 miles. That's it. You know, I mean, as a whole, it needs a cleaning. But, I mean, it's decent. It looks relatively new. That's my daughter's car seat. That's not included in the sale. But everything works in the car. It's got automatic uh, headlights that come on, but it's got the regular switch. It's got cruise control, power windows, everything. Still have the auction numbers on it. Got to clean that off. Um, AC works, radio works. You know, let me let me take a uh, quick video of this car running on the outside. Yep, the car is running as you can see. It's very cold out here. We're expecting a, no, another the third nor'east of the coming. Supposed to be a bad one. Let me pop the hood. Might have to pull it. No leaks, no smoking. Fairly new battery, fairly new alternator. There's the uh, part I replaced over there. I mean, listen to this thing run. And she's running real decent car for the amount of money that I paid for this car which I won't talk about because I'm getting ready to sell it I'm gonna go in the house for a minute I'm using my cell phone to do this so it's a little different as always you hear my daughter in the background sorry about that but um, this was the first car I bought like I said it's a 2003 Impala had 63,000 miles. Overall, the car is in decent shape. I already had a buddy of mine from work. He already saw the car, took it for a ride, and he wants to buy the car already from me um, for his uh, 
his nephew who's going off to college and that car is perfect i mean it's perfect for a it's a great car you know not for nothing if um if my car was paid off or whatever i'd, I'd keep it you know what i mean it, it runs better than my brand new car but um but anyways just a quick little recap i hope you guys can see me because i'm not going to make this video again um just a quick little recap of, of, of everything using, you know, Copart with the uh, broker. Is number one is if you're really going to do this, you know, and, he, and you obviously need a broker, the first thing that I would suggest you do, okay, is sign up for Copart. You, you have to. To view any cars, even if you're using a broker, it don't matter. Sign up for the basic, um, well, actually, I'm going to change mine, so I shouldn't say that. The basic um, membership is free. You only get to view three cars. Go check out cars. You know, if you have to do three a day, then fine. You know, I basically just picked a car that was cheap, that if anything, if, if something got screwed up paperwork-wise, whatever, I couldn't care less. But I didn't buy it, obviously. That's not a piece of crap. But it's, it's not it's not brand new either. You know, it's it's decent. But the amount of money I paid for it, I couldn't go wrong. It's it's a gamble. Any Anytime you do something like this, it's a gamble. Anyways, go, go look at the car. Go look at some cars. Um, while you're looking at some cars... You know, I would I would recommend, you know, then you go through your brokers. Can't stress enough. I can't stress enough. Read the terms and conditions through each broker. Go back to my first video and you'll understand why. Okay? Once you find a car, um, once you find a car, you, you know... Again, you got to check your, your, your broker's terms and conditions. Mine, I had to make a $400 deposit. Make your deposit. Uh, this particular car was a buy it now option. When you do a buy it now option, they give you two days to pay for the car. Uh, the minute you click uh, buy a car now, that's day one. So make sure you have the funds available. Make sure you're ready to go where you need to go to get that payment over to your broker. Okay, but if uh, if you're not going to click a buy it now option, uh, just my advice. I'm not saying that I'm a professional or anything like that. And again, nobody's paying me to do any of this. Um, this is just my experience and hopes to help somebody out. Um, do not, do not, do not, do not pre-bid. Because if you pre-bid during the virtual auction with my broker, I couldn't bid in the virtual auction. Okay? Once you win a car, you know, you pay for it. Um, you know, again, that comes where you have terms and conditions. Each broker and each sale is a little different. Uh, when you, you know, you pick up the car, uh, after you pay for it, you're going to get a... a a title in the mail the title I got in the mail was uh, the previous owners title and attached to the back of it it was a uh, a uh, transfer um, view my other videos just check them out I can't think it was a uh, a title reassignment that's what it was you it was a title reassignment and um, I went down to the DMV Get a bill of sale. Make sure you have that. Make sure you, um, when you go down, you, you know, that you, you have a bill of sale and you have some sort of um, proof that you paid for the car. Um, you have to fill out necessary forms in New York. I did an NV82 form and I just did a title only. You can, you can register the car that day. Um you know it all depends upon you you know uh, I bought the car I think I bought it February 9th and today is March 12th so it took about four or five weeks but I got the title it's in my name you know I, I changed the parts it's got all brand new brakes 
I'm going to take it in for an inspection uh, probably tomorrow if this, you know, or Wednesday, depending upon this nor'east, the crap that's coming. And that's it, you know. Word to advice to everybody, uh, when you sell a car, especially it's, if it's in your name, get a bill of sale from the person that you sold it to and get their driver's license ID number. I sold the car one time. The guy never went to the DMV. All of a sudden, I got $600 worth of uh, tickets because the guy decided to never register it and park it in front of his house. Luckily for me, the guy I sold it to happened to be somebody I worked with. So took him him down to the town hall, made him pay all the fees because that was ridiculous. Anyways, guys, I hope this video is uh, helpful. I hope all my videos were helpful. Uh, I'm just kind of rambling on right now, just didn't, doing a fast video because I actually have to head out. If you have any questions, any comments, feel free to to write underneath this. Uh, like, subscribe, or not, that's up to you. Again, I'm not a professional. I'm not a pro. This was my first car I ever bought. Good luck to you. I hope all my videos have, can help you out. I'll see you on the next one. And remember, help each other out. Okay, you guys have a great day. Be safe and God bless you.